Hi, I'm the Adobe Guy. Um, this is an answer to Katie's question or comments on a video I just posted. Uh, first thing she asked is, from AutoCAD, can I export this as a PDF and keep these links active? Um, the first question I'd have to ask is, why would you want to do this? Um, I know a lot of people like PDFs, a lot of people ask for things in PDFs, but that's possibly because they don't understand the different file formats that are available. Uh, a couple of different ways you can do this. The first is you can export what you've got as a DWG file, a drawing file, and then get the users to download this DWG TrueView from Autodesk. This is basically a way of viewing actual AutoCAD files um, in the best possible way. And it works exactly with Autodesk because it's designed by the same people uh, who designed AutoCAD. The other way of doing this is to export it as a DWF file, as you see I've done here. And the DWF file can actually be viewed just with Internet Explorer. And as you'll see here, the links still remain active. So I can do zoom in on those various different links there. And this is just in Internet Explorer, viewing the DWF file. So if people don't want to download anything, they can just view DWFs directly. Um, another question you've got there, Katie, is the, the view that I've got on my screen. I'm using 2012 Autodesk, AutoCAD. Um, have a check what workspace you're in here. Um, I generally work in 2D drafting and annotation, uh, particularly when I'm working on 2D drawings. What is possible that you've got set up is Autodesk Classic, but it, it obviously depends what version you've got. Um, sounds like you've actually got an earlier version to me, but if you're looking for things under the uh, the 3D Views menu, this is what you're talking about there. If you do have 2012, just click on here for the workspaces, change it to Drafting and Annotation, and you'll find, when you do get used to these ribbons at the top here, they are so much more useful than the just the standard drop-down menus. Um, of course, if you've got these ribbons and you don't want them, all you can do is, you've got the options here, you can click there twice, and you're back to menus. Yep, so you can click on menus along here. Okay, I hope that's answered your questions, and thanks for listening.